are working a lot. You're talking to Andrew because or me? Because you have red hair. I mean, I, I want to say <laughs> See, that. See, I don't. Steve. I'm not. I hate to say it, but let's be honest. That's the only. They got to check boxes. You're not talented. No, they got to check boxes. I don't though. think you'd be. I don't think you'd be working or be. I don't think you'd be doing a lot of stand up. <laughs> don't get mad, bro. Dude, dude take it easy. Bro! Dude, 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 take it easy. Don't I'm get saying, mad, bro. Dude, I'm talented. I'm smart. I'm hardworking. I'm on every single night of my fucking life. You think it's the fucking red hair? I'll I'm, shave this fucking red hair off and I'll still get no, more work no, than don't, you. No, don't, don't Brian, don't off. you even start with me right don't, now, okay? Just because you're on a spinoff of the Goldbergs on school and it's going to do very well, which I'm proud of you for, and I would never down you for that. Don't take away my ability, my hard work, my ethic. I have nothing in this business. I came here with no money. I have no family. I'm not Jewish. I made it alone. <laughs> oh, I made it alone, Brian. Okay, I know that, dude. Don't you do no, I'm just Dude, saying. you're turning the key on the red Ferrari. You want to fucking rev no, me out? No, because sorry. I will burn out all no, over dude, this I'm fucking sorry. place. I, I, I misspoke. I misspoke. I Fire him up, bro. No, I didn't. Fire him up, man. Dog, you know better it. because I've earned this. No, I know you've earned did it. Did you earn your position in this game? I did with regular hair. Here's the thing. No, 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 no. Take it easy. No, no, no. no, 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 no don't get mad. No, 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 Andrew, Andrew. Andrew. Regular I, hair. No, I'm just with saying. With regular well, hair. Well, red, everybody knows that a ginger has, you, you, I see you right away. You do, you do pop. Yeah, I pop. Yeah. And I stand out. Okay. And guess what? I have to deliver harder. When they see your normal looking hair ass on stage, they just go, this is just a normal goofy looking fucking no, white don't guy. Don't say goofy. I'm not <laughs> Well, goofy. you are goofy looking. No. There's no doubt. <laughs> Who says goofy? Those ears <laughs> have been bowing out a little bit as we've gotten older. <laughs> hey. Like doors, like there's car hey, doors that are open. no doubt. Yeah, they've been bowing like out a little like bit DeLorean. more. Like DeLoreans. Don't say bowing out. I think you should pin them back. You should tie You should tie floss from one side to the other and pull them back at night. <laughs> no, that is a procedure you can bowing do. Bowing out. Yeah, really? you should. You know, like, let's say, for whatever reason, say Finn was born with huge ears. Well, he is. The sun never hits his face. Okay. Well, I'm glad <laughs> you said something. He can find his way let's with echolocation. Let's say your son looks like Dumbo. Let's say your son looks like Dumbo. He can find his way with echolocation. You know, you know they can't. They, they snip it and clip snip and it and pull them back. Really? It looks normal. Well, so kids like, don't get bullied anymore. Uh, so they see you, you on stage. You can also dye kids hair. You could dye, you could dye your hair. But they see you on stage and they go. Let's see what this fucking regular Joe Schmo has to do. You come up there with some of your, you know, jokes, whatever. I know, no, there are some of them are good. I watched actually a couple nights ago and I thought, wow, that's better than I, you know, used to be. Okay. And and you <laughs> and you sling your jokes and they go, good, yeah, I'm glad he was good, but he's normal. I get up there and they go, what is this guy? What got? is this guy gonna do? Oh, is it red headed guy? And then I fucking murder and All they right. go, wow, yeah, wow, he overcame something. Do you have any redhead jokes? Not really. To a kid, you're saying to, to male kids. students? When women molest. Mm. You're not going to come, right? As, like, what, there's what, no what, way. The boy? No, the woman. Oh, yeah, she's not going to come. She's not going to come. Not so, like, teacher. it's actually, in one way, it's actually worse, right? Because it's like, you're doing this only for the manipulation and abuse part. No, or they get the rocks off after. They go home or they're in their office. They, and then finger that, themselves yeah, to it. Get it. Yeah, but, they, but dude, you can look, this is a fact too. Most, if not all Real rapists, sense. like yeah. male rapists, they don't come either. No. It's extremely uncommon. It's after. Yes. Or they, they never go back come to during. the site and jack The off. physical abuse and control is what rapists yeah. enjoy. They come back to the site. site. Yeah. <laughs> they go jerk off in the fucking alley just <laughs> yeah. standing over where it happened. Hey, there's a lot of bro sites going on right now. <laughs> Look at that. Common <laughs> beliefs about rape. rapists. Real, don't, rapists don't actually, most don't come. Because they because of the struggle, the abuse. They love the power dynamic. There's a bunch of different parts about it. Like, I guess I guess when I say that, I mean strangers. If you're, if you're attacking someone... When it's rape in a family and all that stuff, all that shit is fucking way. I don't. I don't know. I don't know how, how we got started. Oh, we're trying to figure out who got molested, and no yeah. one did. The only person that got close was you, but sounded like a good time. Shin, I, Shin I didn't really end out his story. Totally fine. Yeah, I don't Shin, think I did. Honestly, Shin, I, I got it. Airing like that. You grew up in America, though, right? Dick. Huh? You grew up in America. No, right? I was born in Korea. You were born in Korea, <laughs> but then I came here when I was like three years. Raised maybe? in oh, Texas, okay. though. Yeah, yeah. Texas, okay. Texas, yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey, boy. Yeah. How you doing over here, Shin? Come here, Chin. Want you? I want to show you something, boy. Let me sit something on your chin. <laughs> yeah, you ever see oil come out of one of these things? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't? <laughs> I bet you don't got this in Korea, do you, Chin? Huh? In Korea. In Korea. <laughs> <laughs> so we do it a little differently down here, chinny chin chinny chin. You gonna take one on your chinny chin chin, son? No. Are you gonna- yes, sir. Bend over, chin. No. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, help me it put on my so boots, chin. <laughs> you sound like Shia LaBeouf. Chin had to chin had to help him. Help me put on my boots, chin. Go on, put on my boots, chin. <laughs> chin goes home. He make me put on his boot. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> 
was when he was three, he did. He's not an immigrant. When he was younger, when you were younger, you had a thicker accent. He put the on you. He said, "Boo." His parents like, "What did he make you do?" Well, that's just taking like that's like making more and sleep. and it costs more than what you leave with it in. Like, okay, you, it's well, like listen. when you when you get an urn when someone dies, it's like, do you want them in a nice urn in a glass one or a box? I'm sure when your dick case comes in a case. thing, it's way more yeah. expensive. Eighteen to start. You guys are not very eighteen to knife it. I'll say this: average okay. cost seventeen grand, male to female. Yeah, great. We just saved a thousand dollars. Is better this conversation. Another ten minutes of discussion will be at ten grand where I want to be at. What I'm telling you, freaking animals, is this, <laughs> dude. How much are tits though, Chin? To my point. Tits are almost free, bro. You could fucking get a tit anywhere, dude. That's what I'm saying. They give them away bro. now. Yeah. There's a guy down at Venice Boardwalk that does it if you watch his uh, YouTube video. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> are you guys a fan of fake titties? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys are bitches. Dude, dude, you know why? Your, your yeah. girl doesn't have them. Otherwise, you'd be like, uh, yeah, I love them. No, but no, well, your girl has them. That's why you love them. No, hold on. I wow, I've always loved yes. them. I've always loved them. No, no, no. First of all, I think I, I would do one on, one off because yeah. I think sometimes you want one and sometimes you don't. Like there's just the left side. And I'm not I, grabbing I, I want them so you can hands. rotate them to the back with real ones. Like real ones can come and then sometimes you rotate them. To <laughs> lazy. His wife seems lazy, Susan. <laughs> you know but I want to say this though is that. So listen here, little fellas. If you need your young guy, maybe your bones to haven't developed that strong or something, and you need to get out, you, you you know things aren't going well at home. For twenty grand, or now it's seventeen grand, you can get a gender reassignment. You can get a vagina. You come out here, dude. Sell that young ass to some fucking rich boys out here. You can be making ten k. Wait, a ass month. or vagina? You mean sell that young? But JJ, not ass. But well, the ass not, is still there. You got the ass. No, but why wouldn't you sell the vagina? I wouldn't sell my ass. No, I'm not selling yeah, my asshole. Don't that's get a f- double, bro. What do you mean? You just said that's you would. That's double, bro. Idiot. Don't you're, realize you're, you're dumb and You're giving two for one it. here. You're a terrible <laughs> businessman. Dude, you get the sex change and you're selling your asshole? No, you go through you all that work that. and you're giving your ass? No, you did. <laughs> you did, bro. No, you did. Dude. Dude, Dude, it's you, crazy. First of all, I've heard so many different stories. You said you go back no. in time, and you would chop off your cock, and then you'd suck a bunch of guys off. You said you're going to blow. First of all, you're not going to give up your ass or your new puss. You just want to blow. It always dudes. about gay sex in here, Dude, you're the one that fine. wants to fucking have a sex change and give up your asshole. I like when, Theo, no sense. when Theo gave advice <laughs> to, the, up, to bro. young men. Because I'm saving my vagina for fucking marriage, you idiot. <laughs> Not everybody's you a freaking just important? giving their pussy away to somebody. You would be such a whore as a transgender, Theo. You would just be no, I the wouldn't. fucking I'd be at the events. library. I would be taking care of myself. Oh, yeah. You and I did a bit for a little while. Andrew would look at me and go, thanks, Brian. It's Brian Callen. He's left the business. <laughs> yeah, he's, left, he's out of the I, business. I didn't leave the All business. Right, get out of it. It's gone. <laughs> All right. um, yeah, you left the business. When, when, when you, okay. Yeah. When they gave you this offer to do the TV show. That's cool. Do you think that they, <clears throat> do you think that, <clears throat> You think they took a shot on you because Careful. you've been around for too long? <laughs> Andrew, that's do you a think it, shitty question. Do you think it's, hey. You're being shitty right now. Like he's put his time this. in, you're Andrew. saying? Are you talented? Undeniably. I will say that. I've Thank seen you. You're very funny on stage. You Thank do great you. stuff on camera. Thank you. Are you, can you hold a show? Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I mean, what a bad bet. It's ABC. Andrew. They I'm, sink so many ships over there, too. So Andrew, this one's going to fucking fall to the bottom Andrew, of the earth. Andrew, I have a mortgage. Like number one, number two. This fall, <laughs> Brian Callen barely makes you laugh. I mean, Andrew, what's the promo going to say? With, I'm, with, I'm with Tim Meadows, for fuck's sake. Oh, man. Well, he's not going to be able to pull you up from anything. He's Andrew, way funnier than you. Andrew. He's going to be way up top making everyone laugh, and they're going to go, who's this guy dragging down Meadows? <laughs> Tim Meadows, who's, SNL, one of the greatest. The guy dragging ladies man. Ladies man, one of the greatest, most brilliant comedians of all time. He's, and they got you. Please, they got me. <laughs> Fuck. They got me. But I'm going to learn from them and I'm going to pull it up and we're going to get you on there as a guest. I would love to. Let yes, me be God. honest. I'm yeah. so happy for you, Jenny, when I heard that Thank news. You. you know who told me? Delia. Chris D'Elia, if you guys don't know who he is, he does, uh, he's like a, <laughs> he's a podcast, he's, he's a, a podcast, podcast guy or something. He's a podcast. YouTuber. Yeah, yeah. Podcaster. Yeah. yeah. And he, uh, he said, did you hear about Callan? And my initial thought, this is your son. He died. No, no, not death. He's he's young and he's in shape. He said, "Did you hear about about Callan?" And I said, "I knew it," because the first time I met Callan, he, nice, always nice, but like a femi- a feminine. And yeah. I thought he is gay. I yeah. knew, and I thought this was a come out party. Mm. And I got excited. I said, "We're gonna have a come out party for Brian." It's about time. It's about hashtag. Yes. It's about time. He's been. Did Brendan guys. put him up to this? Did you? Can think we start that? that hashtag? It's about time. That <laughs> it's Brian about comes out. Well, it's on Reddit, time. there was a whole thing of R.I.P. Callan. And I was like, what are like, you doing on Reddit? Died. No, it's, people were sending it to me. <laughs> yeah, get the I never, I've never been on Reddit in my life. 
I think he had. Did he say don't do redhead? He jokes? inadvertently said don't do redheaded stuff. How much Italian? He, are I you? think he was like, why? I think I had asked him or something stupid. It's almost like too that. on the nose, huh? I was just insecure as fuck when I had <clears throat> first like even yeah. talked to him, and I was like, whatever. And then and then I think I had said, oh, I gotta, I, can't, I don't want to do that. I did like maybe a redheaded joke, and then he was like, you, why? Well, you don't need to. Why does? Why do you care? Yeah. It was something along those lines. I don't remember the exact, but it made me think about because he doesn't do it. So I was like, oh, he doesn't do it ever, ever, well, what, ever. What? What? And he's uh, numero uno. Are you? Me. Are you? What are you? Italian and Irish? Half, half. Italian me and too. Irish. Siciliano. Me too. He, but see, the difference is, yeah. I look, I look Irish. Yeah. And I've got the body and the cock of an Italian. Okay, I don't know. And man. you look like a, like a little tiny Swedish boy. You no, look like I a little don't. Swedish boy. In yeah, this you outfit, do. maybe. A little tiny Swedish boy. They're not tiny. I'm a Brian Kalen. Yeah, you know, they're tiny little people. That's a fucking people. Irish I'm guy. I'm a Brian Kalen. That's an Irish guy. <laughs> no, and I... And I it's a no. terrible Swedish This accent. is an Irish guy. This is clearly Irish man. Well, dude. Yes, that's Irish. That's Jamaican. No, no this is an Irish guy. <laughs> that's, a, that's so Jamaican, dude. This is Irish... Okay. That's, Welcome that's, to Ireland. No, that's... No. Welcome to the island of Ireland, man. No, Irie land. <laughs> Come over, get some fish and chips and fruit and salad. No, see, that's... Falafel. This is Ireland. No, no that sounds falafel, so... Falafel, fish and chips, that's... fruit, salad, couscous on the island of Ireland. No, that sounds so Jamaican. I it's honestly... not even close to Jamaican. <laughs> I, I is, Ireland, Ireland, Here we go. There's a Jamaican accent. You want a Jamaican? <laughs> hey, I'm Jamaican. I'm a big black Jamaican guy. Everyone knows I'm Jamaican. That's Jamaican. That's super Australian. Dude. You are so bad with dialects. <laughs> you don't know. I don't. I, 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 I studied in college, dude. I did dialectical research. That was one of my focuses. What was your What was your major in college? Journalism and English. Journal, Engl, journalism major, English focus, and I had a dialectic uh, 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 subset. I did two and a half years of learning dialects around the world. Okay, but name I, a place and I can do it. Maori. Maori. You want Maori? Yeah. Okay. Uh. Welcome to this uh, neighborhood. I uh, I uh, put a number me meal for you on that ship. That's and spot that's, and, on. And you didn't understand the language because I was also that doing was some. Spot on. That's the best, that's the best Give him another one. Give him another one. Give him another one. Okay, okay. Russian. Uh, yeah, let's easy. Russian. Russian. Ru- yeah. Russian's probably probably one of my favorites. To be honest with you, Russian's yeah. easy. <clears throat> Russian goes. Uh, oh, you, I don't. Um, you want to eat? You want to eat? Uh, You'll see a fish with us, or you do, do you want to go on your separate ways because dinner is made? Okay, now I have to say, uh, I'm sorry, that's that, that, now look, I, I don't take this the wrong way, but that does sound a little bit f- French. <laughs> well, uh, you, you're going, you're do you want me to kick out of here? Please, do you want no, me to no, get no, out of no, here? Give, give, give him some more, B. Okay, give okay, take more. it easy, take it easy. All right, can, can I hear, please, and don't make it okay, don't make it. Can I hear Japanese? Easy, Japanese is probably one of my favorite ones to do. <laughs> All right, okay. I have to get prepped for it. Ready? Yeah, get your mind right. <clears throat> Ooh, hi, puppy. You know you know not how to do this with me. I want to dance on your lap and maybe shake on my pussy, pussy, pussy. Okay, okay, bro, I have to stop you. I have to stop you. Because it's so good? Did you just get transformed like you were it back in sounds, Tokyo, Japan? sounds so fucking Spanish. Dude, dude. that sounds... Sorry. Dude, that's very... Honestly, the puppy. you guys Sorry. are so wrong. I, maybe I am. I'm I, telling you you're wrong. I went to a fucking school for dialectical research. Okay, okay. maybe we're off. I don't know. Maybe, maybe my, we are off. Did I'm you go to college? You, I did go to did college. Did you go to college? Sure yeah. did. What college? Went to American University. In D.C.? In D.C., yeah. That's a really good school. I know it is. What did you do? What was your major? History. Economics. Initially, history? And then it was history. Yeah. Economics and history. Well, it was economics and I switched over to history. When was the War of 1812? That's a good question. <laughs> In the 1800s sometimes. That is a good school. <laughs> Thank you. Where did you go, Sean? Thank you. University of Colorado. Boulder. Don't ask See him anything. Great school. Academic. You know what? Sports. Hooked up with a girl there. Left a watch there. <laughs> hooked up with hooked up with a two. When I was in college, That's went hard there. Hard to find in yeah. Boulder, dude. Had myself a nice, delicious, big piece of two. Were you, yeah. were you, on, were you on the heavy, hill? Heavy, 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 heavy. Big heavy. fat girl. I don't know how I found her. I mean, she wasn't hard to find. <clears throat> yeah. Hooked up with her. Left my watch there. Nice poor watch. Kid, Fossil. Pa- poor kid. Bad watch. Never Fossil. had nice stuff. Fossil. Yeah. You, sure. you didn't grow up with money. No money. Had no money. I made all my own money. Wow. Left a watch there. Such a good guy. And I needed it. That's how bad. Went, went over to the two's house the next day. Embarrassed. You know, what'd you have to do? Watch Walk of Shame. I had to kiss her again and do all that stuff. <laughs> but you were glad you get your watch back. <laughs> I needed that now fucking watch. Now look at you, because that, that, that This that is Bretland a way better watch. If I left this there, watch nice. over there in today, like if I left this nice watch, yeah. leave it. Do you think about money? Because I got money now. Do you think about money? Do I think a about lot? it? Do you think, what is, yeah, what part of your brain? None. I don't think about it. You don't? I don't know. Because you've had no money, so you're not afraid of not having money. Yeah, it's fine. Because some people are afraid. I'm not afraid. 
I'm not afraid because I know that I'm going to keep climbing in this business uh, and keep working hard to do well. Because if I don't and if it fails, okay, I'll just go back home and yeah. just go do some bullshit. But I know it won't happen. Yeah. Because no, you know why? Why? Too Talent. good. Too good. Okay, man. Don't be. What are you doing? I, think I agree with him there. What are you doing? What are you doing, dude? You need to give us money? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what are those 20s? It's a bunch of hundreds. <laughs> oh, that, wow. Okay, dude. That, but no, you know what's so funny? so what, off putting. I, I have a ton of them. And, and, okay, and dude, sometimes. I have a ton of them. Man. So we just for fun, you collect them? No. I don't know. You know, I have, I got them. And then sometimes I'll go around town. Give them away? No, I'll bury them. Just as like a gift for someone to well, maybe find. That's cool, yeah. man. Yeah. It's like a charity thing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sometimes I'll drive, I'll drive in my super fast car and I'll drive by like a skid road downtown and I'll stop and I'll go, uh, do you, who wants one of these? You know, a hundred dollar bill. Yeah. They'll freak out, you know? Yeah. 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 And I eat it. <laughs> and I flick them off and I get the fuck out of it. That's so mean. Why? Why? Because That's what they get. You're, you're rubbing sometimes it in I, their face. I, sometimes I wipe my ass with hundreds, oh, yeah, and I put in a ziploc like a bunch, a bag of poo hundreds, <laughs> and then I go and I go to old to like a, like it's old old, old homeless people, like sad, yeah, cold, you know, ah, some soup, you know, and I smack them in the fucking face with a poo hundred. <laughs> And that's it. And I take it back. You take it back. I wipe oh, off wow. my poo on them. Oh, and then get, and I go. You know what? Cash? I want it. Yeah. And I keep and the cash. You go enjoy like your this. hepatitis. You get hepatitis for Christmas, and you and you. And I get my hundred back. What is this shit? Ooh, roar drink. Roar drink. We're rolling. So Let's roll. Roar drink, dude. Let's we get got into roar it. Roar drink. <sighs> we have the probably one of the top sixty or seventy gingers in America right now. Top top thirty or forty, yeah, according to GingerUnite.com. And you know that when there's a biopic or biopic, you're gonna play Louis C.K. in it. <laughs> like, be, actually, I'll, I'm hoping to be Ron Howard, Howard when he dies. Yeah, Ron's I'll be Ron kind of handsome. Uh, first of all, <laughs> first of all, bro, I'm way more handsome than Ron Howard. Whoa, dude, who would you play in a biopic? You, who would you play? Huh? Who would you play in a biopic? In a biopic, I would. probably... When they die, who will you play? Maybe. Mm, let me think about that for a like second. Like one of the Clampets? No, you... Yeah, one of the Clampets, maybe? That's so limiting. Okay, well then maybe you could play... Uh, At least Louie is a role. You can do something He's something funny. real. Yeah. You would play... Um, maybe... Brad, you could do Brad Pitt. No, I'm not doing not Brad Not looks-wise. Just confidence-wise. No. I definitely don't have that confidence, so... You don't have the no. Brad Pitt confidence? No. I think I could do Jeff... Garland. You could do Jeff Garland. Oh, no, he can't even turn his neck. Um, (laughs) Let me do, oh, Jabig Lebowski. The dude? Yeah. You're talking about the actor? Yeah, well. Jeff Bridges. Yeah. You could be Jeff Bridges, you think? Let's hear it. All right. uh, Market 8, Donnie. No, let me try it again. Uh, I don't know what they're talking about. Do you not know any lines from the movie? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like you don't know any yeah, fucking dude. lines from the movie. Market yeah. 8, Donnie. Jeff Bridges, dude. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about, dude. Uh, let me try one more. Um, The dude. I'm he the, never says the dude. Okay, well, <laughs> he whatever. never once says You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right, bro. Um, I'm off. But we're in here. Here we are. We, we have are. Andrew Santino. Yo, yo. From the new Whiskey Ginger podcast. Trying. Which is, uh, how's that been? It's been actually really good. Yeah. You've had in, some real schlubs on there I've seen too. A few, a few, a few, a few. Yeah, a few schlubs. Chris Delano, um, who who lost to you or uh, will inevitably lose to you in the guest of the year belt. We all know that. Yeah, we'll see. We're just over there and apparently there's a big to-do about it. Well, but, I think what, what it comes down to is Chris, um, you know, you know Samson and Delilah. You know that story about the power from being the Bible. Yeah, you know, by the power being in. Uh, I don't think it's Delilah. Is it Samson and Delilah? Isn't that what it is? Can we look it up, Nick? It is. It is. Okay. Right, and it, the power well, lied well, in I his hair. Read right, all of the Bible. So I think the power in Chris's hair um, is all he's got, yeah. and he wants to be the prettiest boy in town. Mm-hmm. And now that you have a mane in the back, a mm-hmm. thick mane. Oh yeah. I think it. I think he gets nervous and scared. He's talked privately, and this is off the record, but on the record, he's talked privately. I know. To Callan and said that he's threatened by your hair, and he feels like he's gonna. He, he feels like he's gonna get pushed out of the way. He was. I saw him on crying on the four hundred five. He pulled over and was crying. Really on the four hundred five. Yeah. Wow. What yeah. does he drive? Even. It's like a souped up go kart. Oh wow. Yeah. 
No, he drives like a really fancy, expensive, rich car. Does he? Yeah, really. Somebody really nice said car. the other day. Somebody said he has all like so much silverware at his house. You'd have to have like seven thousand people eating dinner at once. Yeah, it'd be impossible. But also, he it. doesn't even use it. You know yeah. that he eats with his hands. Does he really? Yeah, Chris eats only with his hands. That's why, if you notice, if you guys, the fans, you can get close. He has long, dirty fingernails. Oh yeah, because he always eats with his hands. I've seen that. real. I don't have very Kenyan. Yeah, very, starting yeah. from the nails out, he's yeah. very Kenyan. Yeah, and I think he just gets so threatened by the main that I've. This is what this is just what what Callan told me, that he was threatened by you. So he paid a bunch of people to illegally vote. Unbelievable. But he was because he's like money's not a problem. Wouldn't make a dent. You know oh, all yeah. this shit. Yeah. So he was just paying people to vote. Yeah. Thought I make a dent. Thought I make a dent. I'll pay him. To, I'll pay to cheat. Yeah. And that's what it is. He said he's gonna start an auto body shop that repairs cars. Said <laughs> called. Did make a dance. Is he really? <laughs> I'd take my fucking car. No, but what I'm starting to realize from them is I don't trust them. Uh, well, who do you trust less, Shab or or Callan? I think one of them is a patsy, and I think it's you think it's Shab, but it's Callan. See my see that's weird because I think the patsy would be Callan. My first instinct when I see him because he's tiny and little, he's kind of like. You know, I don't know. He's like a little sneaky. I can hide very well. Little yeah. beady, little creepy eyes. Oh, definitely. His eyes have sleeps no color. In a tree. Yeah, he sleeps Dude, up in a tree. Well, here's the thing. If you zoom in on Chris D'Elia's dick, right behind it, there's two nuts, and that's Brendan and Brian. Oh, These shit. dudes are hanging on that fucking guy's dick. They yeah. put out all types of specialty things on the internet this week for for him and last week for him to get extra support. Yeah, they were promoting him hard. Very much. I didn't see you get promoted that much. I didn't either. Hmm. But it just goes to show you that uh, that's the world we live in. I thought that they were uh, help, more healthy than that in their spirit. No. No, no, no. Yeah. Well, because of where the, the, just their background. You know, yeah. both of those guys come from very... Very priv privileged, shady places. Oh, yeah. So they want privileged, shady people to continue. And we know Chris is privileged and shady. You know his father owns downtown Los Angeles. It's crazy. Every Brandon, building. Brandon used to fight in damn shopping malls and shit. He would just get in fist you know? fights at Westfields. Yeah, or yeah. different stuff, man. There's, they got it. I think, I, think, I think the sad thing about the belt is um, I'm happy that I came in third because I beat those other fucking trash bags. I mean, people were talking a lot of shit on but the But did internet. you think you had a chance at the at the belt? For a second, you did. I was happy. I was happy. No, I was. I knew I wasn't going to compete with you guys. Not 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 this early. I don't on. believe that. But I do think next year. Next year, I'll have a way better shot. But I also think I was more mad that people like My Michael Rappaport was even in the running is crazy yeah. to me. That's crazy to me. No Shrat, way. Yeah. No way. Well, somebody said he got. T somebody said that Tony Hinchcliffe got seven votes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking. I believe every second. I'm not even joking. I, did I didn't know he it. was in it. I, it, and then I was surprised. I think Swartzen got thrown in there. Yeah. And I love Swartzen, but I was like, I, no way. And then Sasso, uh, who definitely should have been a better contender. Sasso should have been a better been a better contender. Yeah, but that's only because. I think he didn't even want. I don't think he wanted to be a part of it. No. Well, he said this he is not big enough for him. He doesn't want to drive over here either. Uh. -uh. <laughs> no. No. This would cut his waist off. I mean, he almost died in that chair a couple weeks ago. <laughs> He's got swallowed by his chair. <laughs> no, bro. He sweated so bad. His arms were cold and wet. His neck was very was wet. Was he nervous? And cold. Or was just hot in here? I don't know what was going on. A lot of different things. But he bro. could wear this as like a watch, I guess. <laughs> oh, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this would be one of those uh, life alert bracelets for him. <laughs> you know, on the inside it just says his uh, blood his heart rate. Yeah, his, and pulse. his heart rate. I think. Um, I think. The, I think the. Oh, I think the real race was between you, Delia, and for third was probably me and. Um, uh, and, and Sasso should have been f between me and Sasso. And they should give out a couple of different belts. And I'm curious because, uh, yeah, from the last thing you said, two belts, dude. It just. I think it's bullshit. I think it's bullshit that they're going to do a tie. It's the same way I feel about like when they tie in the NFL. Like that's fucking maddening. I don't think you should ever tie in sports. I think it's bullshit. Yeah. There shouldn't be a tie. And by the way, because there's a tie, I know what they're doing. They're going to have some kind of like thing to make you tie, do a tie off. You know yeah. what I mean? Like an overtime. Well, that's what they want. They're trying to monopolize it. Of course. Yeah. Of course. They're trying to make money off of you. Yeah. Well, that's what they did. They put up, they put up different things, different videos. All Watch for this. all for Chris. These are by the, the guys. Way. And then you can scroll not. through Bleach Media official, oh, God. and all he did was post about Dalia, Dalia, Dalia. So you think Chris was paying him too? I don't know. I'll because say it this. wouldn't make a dent. Yeah, that's Chris why. has a lot of money, bro. He does, dude. I was somewhere with him, and I've said this before, where a table was uneven, mm -hmm. and he took like eight hundred dollars and folded it up and put it under the table <laughs> to make it even. <laughs> Just so he could enjoy his coffee. 
And that's it, dude. And somebody said he's been like ordering blood off the internet and all kind of stuff. Yes. Yeah. Ordering blood. He does the he does such strange things with money. We go to this coffee shop sometimes and they have his order ready before, you know, he comes in because he goes all the time. Yeah. I said, That's that's really cool. And he goes, Yeah, but I take care of them. I said, What do you mean you take care of them? He says, I, I take care of them, don't worry about what, it. What child support and stuff? Yeah, he take he pays their rent. The two girls that work there, pays their rent, pays for their kids, private schooling. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's ridiculous. What Starbucks worker is sending their kid to private schooling? Janice over on Sepulveda. <laughs> wow, unbelievable. <laughs> He's got too much money. Dude, and so this is this should be a message to your fans. Um, yeah. Rob him. Rob Chris. You know, you go see him, pretend you're a fan, go, oh, dude, I love your stand-up. Yeah. Psych. Gun out. Oh, I'm gonna dress up like up. a 17 year old girl, dude. Go into his place, <laughs> fuck him, and then steal a bunch of shit. Wait, wait. He doesn't. He doesn't fuck underage girls, though. No, dude. No. <laughs> no. But Which, I'll actually, let, actually, that's funny. He's so Chris is so far from being a, a pedophile. I'll have just turned 18 that morning. <laughs> yeah, that was your birthday. <laughs> yeah, was, Chris yeah. is so far from being a pedophile. Everyone should know this on the internet, yeah. by the way. He won't fuck someone under 60. Yeah. No chance. No. <laughs> no, I've never seen Chris hanging out with a woman under 60 in my entire life. He has that 43 year. Yeah, he stays 43 years outside of possible pedophilia yeah he loves that and I that's mean, at I, 60 year i think range. that's to keep him safe the more famous he gets you know now he will doctor those 60 year old chicks up i've seen him with put fake tits on a 60 year old lady fake teeth her I saw carriage could barely hold him up i saw a woman with new eyes he yeah. had a woman with brand new eyes yeah i said how did she get new eyes he's like dude <laughs> you yeah know, did that thing that he does yeah <laughs> i just i don't I, I don't you know do i like do i like crystalia <laughs> you know <laughs> he's like mustard yeah it's, he's like mustard if it's on there it's I, fine I'll, I'll have it but yeah if it's uh, i'll put it on every yeah now i'll put it on then. once in a while but usually i'm when i see it i go Ugh, uh, yeah, that's fuck. gonna fucking that's gonna annoy me that's can't gonna... believe somebody bought that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can't and i said this i've said this about 10 times i think i said it over on on uh on uh, dipshit and doofus's podcast uh, I said to them, Shark Tank. What is their podcast what, called? What Fire in called? the Kid. Fire, Fire in the in the Child. Yeah, I think. Why so. do they have a kid in the name? That's fucking know. gross. Very illegal. It's not going to help them in court. A couple mm -mm. years from yeah. now. Yeah, you had a podcast called Fighter and the and the Child. <laughs> yeah, is it? Yeah. Okay, you're you're going to prison. Yeah, and the one guy's low on plasma. You get that email? Yeah, Brian asking for people for fucking. He's begging, plasma? begging, begging. <laughs> He goes, can I come talk uh, to you for a minute about some opportunities I have for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a pyramid scheme for plasma. Yeah, dude. No, Rest so, in so, platelets, bro. So I'm I, out. Yeah. I got, but the point of all that shit is um, all comics feel the same way. Whether or not you, you don't like, you like Louis C.K. or not, nobody wants to be filmed. Like, yeah. Nobody wants to be filmed unless I want to be fucking filmed. Right. But that's the other thing. They're, they're itching for people to get mad. People want to get triggered so fucking bad. The Tiffany Haddish thing to me is hilarious. Yeah. That people are like, you, they want to make news out of nothing. Right. Do you know how people bomb on New Year's? We've all done New Year's shows. You know how many times I've seen crowds get so crazy the comic can't perform because you're they're they're shit faced out of their fucking mind, yelling in the middle of your setups. Oh like, yeah. So so. Oh, I raised money one time. I was gonna piss into a speaker one time in Louisville on stage. <laughs> on, on New Year's. Yeah. If I'd have got a hundred bucks, man, I was gonna end my whole career. I could have been electrocuted. <laughs> But thank God we only got about 70 bucks. And this is before GoFundMe. This is back when you just had to ask everybody in the room. That was, you know? yeah, that was just room fund. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the room <laughs> fund. Just, Can hey. anybody give me money? Yeah, yeah just hands give me out. something. <laughs> um, I'm just curious because I, I feel like the thing about a guy with a guy like Louie is once you get to that level of ego and have that much influence and that much power, that's po really, that's big that he power. Had, right. I mean, when you're coming in front of people and running past them and jerking off, I mean, Did everybody. He run, come? It's hard to do that, but that's a fucking power move. That is power. You know? He's just jerking like, off. Like, hey, running. look at these socks. And then they see you're naked. They look at the socks first. Then they see you're naked, and then you come. Do you, you know? remember that game that boys would play, where they'd be like, "Yo, what time is it?" And they'd wrap their nuts on their watch and yeah. shit like that. Yeah. yeah, that was pretty preeminent for Louis. You think he was doing that when he was young? Oh, I got some gum, and yeah. you know, oh, what is that gum? Yeah, yeah. And it's there always was always nuts. one kid who looked at it for too long. Yeah, <laughs> it was where you're like, "Oh, look at this piece of gum," and everyone's like, "Oh," and there's one that's like, "Oh, <laughs> is it grape?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you Speaking of crazy shit like that, I was in Vegas for mm -hmm. New Year's like a fool. Oh, really? Yeah. For what? Uh, you know Little Dicky, the rapper? Do you know him? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a friend, and he was performing there. Okay. And uh, we went there, and uh, my lady and a friend, um, and another friend of ours, they wanted to see Gwen Stefani do like one of her last shows. So I bucked up, and I went and saw Gwen Stefani, and then I went and saw my boy Little Dicky. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I didn't buck up and go see Gwen. Win stuff. I wasn't. I, 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 I wasn't really. Leave a message and I'll call you back. They I love it. Yeah, she did Spider Web. She did. Yeah, of course. I love good song. I, I love Gwen Stefani, but <laughs> yeah. I wasn't like. I wasn't like. 
got to see her on New Year's Eve in Vegas. Because the 40 songs, it's like, what are these songs? Well, then she's, she's got some cuts. <clears throat> she does? She's got some cuts. Is Gwen Stefani the lady from The Voice, too? Yes. Oh, that's cool. And she's married to the dude that's on The Voice. No way. Adam Levine? Nope. Blake Shelton. Blake Shelton. Oh, really? Did he come out? Nah, he didn't. He was back drinking, I'm sure. Dude, come fucking out. It's like 30 steps and do a hit. I know, I'm mad. I was mad. I was mad. I was a So then off. what? Then you and your boy, you're out with Little Dicky in Vegas? Then we went out with Little Dicky in Vegas. Yeah, we had a good time. And then we ended up at the Chainsmokers Hotel Room. Do you know who they are? Yeah, that band, yeah. yeah I know yeah. you're extremely band dropping right now. Yeah, well, I did what I did. And how big was their hotel room? It's funny, it wasn't as big as I thought it was going to be. Really? Yeah, because they were like, we're going to the Chainsmokers party. I was like, it's going to be fucking wild as shit. I was amped on the bus. I was lit up. I was on the stripper pole doing my thing. Everybody's laughing. We get there and I'm like, Chainsmokers hotel room. We get VIP'd up there and everyone's kind of quiet. They had a tray of dessert out. I was like, this ain't it. Wow. <laughs> when you say dessert, are you talking drugs and stuff like that? No, they had real, they had ice cream. Ooh. Ice cream and milkshakes. I'm talking about some snow. Dude. I know there was no drugs. I couldn't believe there was no drugs, dude. I'd let somebody fart a gram into my veins at a chain smoker party, dude. Whatever it not, gets it into my it, system. It was not what I thought it was going to be. Why? Well, most of my audience knows I grew up in it. They had this boy down the street from me, this kid Mario, and he, in order to hang out with them, he made he had me, a brother named Luigi. No, he didn't, dude. No, and wasn't a plumber. We're gonna leave that joke in. <laughs> um, but he would shit in his own yard and make me bury it in order to be able to hang out with him, right? And Damn, so you were his poop bitch. I wasn't a poop bitch. I was a young man, and I was. Why would you bury another man's poop if he asked you to do it? What was the benefit? Because he was a tough kid, and there was otherwise he was gonna whoop your ass. Yeah, there okay. was no real way to hang out. You so know? you were a poop bitch. I wasn't a poop bitch. I was a guy who would, you know... Bury a man's poop, otherwise he'd beat you up? I would say I worked in, like, janitorial services. <laughs> I would you, say that. You didn't get paid, though. So I you didn't got, really work. You were doing an internship in janitorial service. I didn't. I got paid in the fact that we got to, you know, be around each other. Were you other a poop bitch intern? And enjoy each other's company? No. I was first in line. Apprentice. Yeah. You were an apprentice. I was more of a... I would say... Were there other people that buried his poop? There were not that I knew of. You were the key poop bear. I would say, yeah. You were tip top. Well, I was. I <laughs> That's would, kind of privilege at that point. I would say I was a colon concierge. That's what I would say. A colon concierge. Yeah. Ah. So this guy was an shit. excrement excavator. Yeah. That's there what you, you go, dude. <laughs> well, this guy would shit and I'd have to hide it in his yard, right? <clears throat> would his parents ever, did his parents ever know that he was they pooping? They had in the to have known, dude. His mother was a librarian, smart. <laughs> you know, and so she had to have known. There's no way you bury 200 of some guys' poops in their own yard. Does that trickle down? Do you think that his father did that? Do you think he learned that from his parents? I'll say this. They had one of the best gardens anywhere in town. I will say that, bro. Rose bushes, 30 feet high, bro. Encapsulating the house, dude. Just all that <laughs> you got young. a lot of fertilizer. Oh, that young lizer, bro, in the, in the right. fucking ground. Right. Well, so here's what happened was eventually, and then he would let me hang out with him, dude. This boy, Mario Rafino, and then he ended up dying. He ate a bunch of pills and drove a boat into an embankment. And here's the thing. On purpose. Was he fucked up? Was no, he was he partying? Middle of the night. Oh, middle he was night, in a speedboat and hit the side of an interstate like one of those posts that oh, goes down shit. in the water. Yeah. He was high as fuck. I don't know if he was, but he was always he had a he had that vigilante in him, you know. Did he own always, a boat? These people had some money yeah. to own a boat. It was like a boat that you would fish out of. Ah, uh, like yeah, a little little tiny little fish boat. Yeah. And some of the fish would get in and they'd be like, I'm not staying in this boat, you know, and jump <laughs> back in the that. water. Yeah. <laughs> the fish knew better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is this Mario's boat? Flop right back out. But and I wrote I remember I wrote his parents a letter when that happened and told them about that, about Just, that experience. About about him pooping in the yard? And me burying it, yeah. They didn't write you back. Hundreds of times they never wrote me back. <laughs> I, I feel like that letter might be framed at their house. And I wanted to be a pallbearer, I remember. And I, because I, in my mind, I wanted to put him in the ground one last time. That was <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when I have to fart on airplanes, I'll get up and on the way to the bathroom, I'll fart through the oh. aisle. <laughs> oh my. God. That's one of my, one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> I don't like any of those people on the plane anyway. I, I, I don't Damn. like any of those humans. I feel like every time you get on any airplane, they... They, they call that going to Jersey if you fart down the middle of the aisle. <laughs> <on a plane. laughs> they call that like. going to Jersey. That's the turnpike. I take, yeah, I take yeah. the turnpike all the way to the bathroom. I like to fart, go in the bathroom, wash my hands, and then wait about a minute. And then when I come out, you know, people in the aisles are doing this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I walk by and I go, ugh. And they, <laughs> then they, then they think I think it's them, and they, they and they go like this, oh. Ugh, fucking pig. Yeah, no, you pig, gross. Do um, you think by the way, I almost died coming back into L.A. on a flight. Really? Maybe the scariest flight I've ever had. I've heard, I've heard uh, a lot of comics talk about bad, scary coming back to town flights when you're on the road, mm -hmm. dude. I've we've flown so many times. 
this was so fucking bad. Uh, when we landed, finally, they said that they had to ground airplanes from leaving because the wind was so strong in wow. Burbank. And it was so strong coming out of Vegas. Mm -hmm. I'm not even remotely kidding. We had we came in like this the whole mm -hmm. time. Very dangerous, Vegas. Oh, bro, the worst. And it was about 100, 200 feet above the ground. Like that's how that's how much gap we had left. And instead of trying to glide like that, dude went nose down. I mean, dude, we sl I mean we bounced when we hit. That's how hard we hit. And everyone's holding on. And then when I got off the plane, there was a priest waiting at the terminal. Mm -hmm. And I went up to him. I gave him a big hug. Ah. I said, "Thanks, man. Thanks for everything." Dang. He knew. He knew. <laughs> Dude, I, he said I got. He said I I I understand my son. And that and that's why, dude. When you're on those planes, what would you do? It's going down. What do you do? What I, does Andrew I always, Santino I, I always play do? This game. Slugger. I play this game with a friend. What are your last two words if you're gonna crash? Like it's <laughs> barreling down towards the ground, and the pilot's like, "This is it. This is it. We can't. We're gonna fucking crash." Two words. That's all you have. What do you say? Fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, say you ate a lot of meal out of the fuck. That's good. Fuck, man. That's, That's really good. But I would my word. My words would be knew it. Knew it. <laughs> knew it. <laughs> just to get what with it. Just to fuck with everyone's head on the plane. <laughs> right? It is. And I would go, knew it. <laughs> just to fuck with everyone's. <laughs> Why do you tell us? I love that idea. No, but you know what? It, you know what I think about all the time? Huh. And I was with my fucking wife on this flight, but it was getting so bumpy. There was a really attractive girl sitting across the aisle, mm -hmm. and I thought I think I would kiss my wife first, but then I would also go kiss that hot girl because <laughs> I just I thought about that. I thought if we die, I'm gonna get one on my wife, and I gotta get one on this strange hot yeah, looking yeah, woman. Yeah. She's she's it's just, that'll be it. I'll never have this again, dude. I would I think probably stand up in front of everybody, maybe stand on my seat and just open my ass up to everybody that's back <laughs> behind me. <laughs> Just, just let them see just one more time yeah they have let to be see. like what the fuck and then they just die right before they die yeah the last thing they see is your <laughs> asshole and, and but you don't see anything you just you feel yeah, it you yeah, can just, just feel, feel it the, the whole joy. time yeah that's kind of yeah that would be something that'd be pretty awesome man. i would love exciting time. what i what i love to see is when i'm on a, a really bad bad flight i love to see somebody not bothered I think that's the most gang yeah. gangster shit. I seen a guy reading a newspaper. Mm -hmm. We were in a we were in a fucking storm, <laughs> whipping us around. And the dude and the dude was going like this, <sighs> annoyed that the fact he couldn't the newspaper wouldn't stand still. Yeah. Everybody else is doing this thing on the seat, and he was like, <sighs> yeah. pissed off, like angry at the air. <laughs> Some people are so yeah. Usually that's like a rich guy, like real rich, rich guys. Yeah, because they know like, they they don't die like that. If they die, <laughs> they just come back back at their house. Yeah, they will. They, get, they just they start get, back at their house the next day. Yeah, they just yeah. wake up and they're alive again. Yeah, yeah. Rich people. Stand by. Someone at the door. Yeah, you want up? Sure. Okay. That's not true. Look who's here. Oh well, if it isn't the red-headed slugger himself. I store. I didn't knock here. Oh, what's up, Chief? Hey, Andrew. What's up, bro? What's up, Andrew Santino? Hey, Brian. <laughs> what, what the oh, fuck? He's coming in hot, dude. Bone to pick with you. Hey, dude, yeah, take bro. it easy, man. Yeah, what fuck the fuck? Him up, Santino. I sent a fucking text to you, dude. When, oh, bro? Wow. When? 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 Oh. I sent a fucking text. I said, Brian. Well, I don't remember. What's up with the guest of the year, dude? <laughs> I oh, said wow. I didn't know. Hey, you need to be back. Okay. I was in Africa. Take it easy. Oh, I was in... yeah, dude. I saw. I saw, dude. Take it easy. Dude, holy shit. This guy doesn't want to text me fucking back. I'm in Africa, that's what he said. Liar. I just didn't know. No, hold on. Hold on. Look at Theo. Comes in. Look at Theo's entourage. Look at his little rats. What's up, Brad? Look at the rats. Hey, man. What's up, dude? What the fuck? What? Get him out. What? Get the fuck out! That's this my is chair. Crazy, dude. This is my podcast now. This you can't just take over the podcast, bro. The Rat King, the Bee Sting, and the Red Rocket. You're fucking out, dude. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you're, you're out. out Red dude. Rocket and the Bee Sting. And I chew gum now. The revolution yeah. has begun. This is even slow. Don't I have a. Jesus Christ, you guys are fucking. Is this a mutiny? Don't I have hey, a. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. What's my. Kill him. Name? Yeah. Kill him. You're bad. What the fuck? Shit. I, my mom, shit. I have kids. Leopard. I have kids. Hey, 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 kids. hey. What do you have, leprosy? Say goodbye. I box, you guys. Say goodbye. You Say goodbye to your box. fans, because it's over. Box. The time has come. Say goodbye to your fans, it's over. You've been voted off the island. Mm -hmm. You've been voted off, bro. Been voted Bye. This is a Survivor yep. podcast. Did you know about this? I yeah. did. Oh, yeah. This Survivor podcast. What is it, that I'm just hey. old? You yeah. out. Mm -hmm. Is this new blood in, the hey. old blood out? Hey, Brian. Yeah. Hold my gum, man. Grab a port and put it under that tape. 
That's right. My That's right. Gone, you feel good about this now? No. You guys have this. You're done, dude. This. What so were you guys roll, talking bro? about? Um, we we're talking about uh, how in the new year we're supposed to be forgiving. Oh, really? Yeah. We're talking about guess the year. It's not time of year. Do you guys? Is it done? Did you guys pick it already? Oh yeah. Who is it? Why don't we tell Theo what we think? Theo. Tell him. No, Theo. Theo, get right the mic. No. What ha- what do we think? What happened? Well, th- there's good and bad news. There's you good in, and bad. Okay. You came in hot though. You came, in, you came in super I tried hot. Really hard. Third place. What does that mean? What is third, all, give me, what is this third place. Mean? Was, I, I came in third place. It was a, th- it was a th- three man race. Santino came in third. I like that. Not number three. Look at Theo. I can't wait to tell you. So you di- there's a caveat. You did win. There's a caveat here. I, would, I did? You won, yeah. Okay. You won. What, wait, wait, what's well, the caveat? Why tell me now. Why, 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 why not tell the rat when he can come in like the rat? Because oh, wait. <laughs> it was very wait, close. There was over 400,000 votes, but there was some foul play. 400,000? 400,000 votes. I know what the foul play was. What? People voted multiple times. That's not even That's foul. There's something but like there's that. some there's some Russian leak shit going on where someone it's some foul play. Stick However, bro, way. are you involved with Russians? Dude, you're the closest thing I know to a Russian. Probably you or you. It's no, he's way more Russian looking than I am. I look Iranian. I'm Irish and Italian. That's Western Europe. You don't look Iranian, bro. Dude, you, you don't look, look American out of anybody. You look here. bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Brian, nice. Brian looks the most fucking Russian. You what? look nice. You look Eastern European. No, I mean, Beady little yeah, eyes. You, no. Did you, you tell like soup? Yet. I mean, no. See? Yeah. Yet. See? Yet. <laughs> I mean, no. Bro, Brian. he's electric right now. This whole couch is shaking. Are you okay? I'm not. I'm not. Okay. He's feeling it. What do you mean? We're giving you and Chris Pelts. You're both champs. What? It's two champs. Dual double champs. Because champ. the problem was we didn't know when we looked at what happened, you guys were so neck and neck. I'll tell you off air the exact details. And then there like, was... What do you mean neck and, and neck? A, like how and neck and was, neck are we there talking was an about? irregularity and it didn't make sense. And so we're, we've investigated that and it looks like it's too close to call. There, there's right? an intern belt. So you, you're the defending champion and Chris is the intern champion. You know what this sounds like to me? What is intern? Tie over there. Sounds like I won. <laughs> it what? feels good to win. <laughs> this feels so good to win guest of the year. First of all, I want to thank all my fans Wait, and my friends. On. Thank you so much for coming out, dude. Oh, Jim, what um, do you know? Because these, uh, these guys tied. I won. So this is your, is this your win this speech? This is my win speech. Let me make a speech what? real fast. I'm so happy to be guest of the year. Uh, the I knew it. Everybody knew it. I don't know. Theo knew what it. What are you talking Chris about? Chris Delano knew it. Uh, no, it's Delia. Whatever. He's not, he doesn't mean shit it to me. Bro. Now that I'm sitting on top of the mountain, it feels so good. It feels so you, good to be in. The, you know, what are you talking? Oh about? my god! I uh, thank you guys so much. Oh, I want to thank my mom. Right. I want to thank God. Wait till the speech. Um, is wait till the speech. Can I have my award huh? speech, please? No, Louis C. K. Dude, you tied, down, bro. You tied, bro. You look like you tied. <laughs> you look like a very weathered Louis C. K. Bro, I look way younger than fucking Louis C. K. More hair. Do you want to see my dick? Isn't it? Do you want to see my dick? I'll Louis C. K. You right fucking now. You asked first. Yes, I would like to. <laughs> he's got a re- no, 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 no. Please, Joe, please. He's Why? Got a, he's got a real dick on him, man. Does he really? No, it looks like I've somebody, not heard. It that. looks like a red balloon. What have you I, heard? What have you heard? Huh? What have you heard? It's like a red I've balloon. had. I've heard like one of the like a, um. You know what I see sometimes? Highlighters. Hold on. Who's Please the go. fuck? With, with the multiple Hold colors? Stop. Stop. I can switch dick Stop colors. Hey, what do you mean interim belts, bro? What are you talking about? Though? You guys tied. Let's be honest, This bro. is a tie. That's what it is. Fucking break this again? Somebody broke that. You broke that, bro? I didn't break it. Hold on. I have a question. Yeah. I got a question. Who's the sexy twink? Who's the sexy full mouthed <laughs> veed out twink? What? You. Who's the sexy full mouthed veed out twenty something twink? Oh god. Over there. <laughs> With the with the sweatshirt that says billionaire boys club. That's oh, a yeah. young man, dude. Do you that's have? a boy. That's, that's our intern. That's yeah. every gay man's dream, right? I there. guess, and dude. As an older gay man, I gotta tell. Are you, you. wearing pants or oh, shorts? That's a Can I see? Coke mule, that boy. He's a coke. He's got like yeah. pants shorts on. Oh, dude. Pants shorts. What? You fucking tickle. You, bro, you tickle him a little bag, a high beast bag of bag of pills will fall out of his ass, bro. The kid, the kid. That's your new intern. Oh, beautiful guy. Do you make him wear sweats so he can take that on and off quickly? Is that what it is? Bro, you do some sport. I do, yeah. Yeah, what sport? Well, I play. I used to play hockey and I box. Oh, yeah, you cool. box? I'm not Damn, boxer, bro. Tony Jeffries, I see you guys can you, can you? Do you spar? Do you move around? A little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look Brian's like trying to ask kid. you to take your shirt off. That's all he really wants. No, 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 I'm just saying, but the kid looks, I can well, tell through his sweatshirt that he's he's. He's a beast, huh? Way. Yeah, he's cut up. What I call that is I go, kid looks squared away. Look at Theo's really fucking mad. He keeps throwing looks at Shab about. He he's can got, only think about. You have a tie belt, bro. You tied. You an intern? You guys tied. You don't have a tie belt, dude? You guys tied. Chin. Why you going to me? You fucking live here. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do an app. Let's go.
Bye, guys. That's it? Dude, thank you for letting me win. That's awesome. What That's so happen, tight. Bro? I won! Woo! Are you joking? Are you really announcing it today? Yeah, we're announcing yeah. today. Okay. Well, well, let me know who wins, dude. I think you won. Well, you. fucking give me the shit then, dude. <laughs> it's so what close, What are you guys talking though? about? Hey. Well, the problem is, Theo, let's that go, we let's think go there might be two Chris winners. Let's go talk shit about Chris for an hour. <laughs> let's go talk two shit. Two winners, dude. You guys are so fucking liberal, bro. He goes, let's go start. Two winners? What is this? Socialites? Socially itism? Fuck yeah. There's been some foul play deal. Well, what? And our investigators are looking into it. Well, look into the shit, dude, and give me my fucking shit. All right, bro. All right. your friend, Chris D'Elia. Yeah, that's what it is. Don't say Delano. That's so disrespectful. Chris Delano is exactly no, that's his Delia, name. Dude, you know what his not name here. is to me? I don't give a fuck. How about uh, that guy? That's his name. Man, you're a hundred. You're a hundred and ninety-five pound. One hundred ninety-five pounds. Strap, badass yeah. shit. <laughs> you're a good. You want me to climb over this desk and fuck you up again? I don't, bro. Strap, dude. Because you know better. No, no, I know, and I apologize. Like and the last. No, I said I don't. What did you say? I said I don't. you say? I said I don't, man. Louis. Dude, you're so intense. Louis. Holy shit, you're what like a Louis. Dude, you're Louis. like a red, red-headed Louis, Louis, please relax. Louis. Happy New Year, dude. Thanks, brother. You so too, man. To you, you too, man. Got legs. Don't fuck around with you me, bro. Right. <laughs> All right. He's, so tired he's scared of <laughs> Shit, dude. He's no wow. joke, man. He's a fucking dude, crazy Tie man. belt? You gonna give him a tie belt? Dude, leave Louis alone, bro. Fuck him! Stay back. Let's go. Leave Louis alone, bro. He's had leave a me tough alone, dude. I've had, a, no, I've had a tough year last year. Good luck with everything, guys. There's no cum left in his body. Tough time. Yeah, I'm going to take my hands off. Yes. What's up, cat? Are you good? Get your hands off our cat, dude. Give him a fucking belt, bro. All right, dude. Listen, there's. Uh, you got to take it easy. We're going to give you a belt. We may have to give Chris a belt as well is the only problem. We're going to order new belts, dude. We're ordering new belts, bro. Oh. Hey, you did, but you... Guys, in my eyes, bro, Dead. not as much as you were before. What the oh, hey, dude. Wow. Oh, wow. Andrew, you oh, won. Man. You won. Yeah. It was so fucking hilarious. God damn. Santino is a crazy man. He, crazy. he came at me physically. Dude, he wanted to hurt you. I was nervous. I can always go, Daddy, I need money. What, and, 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 so when I, was in, when, I was, when I was in theater school in, act, in New York, my dad paid my rent. You went to rent. school for acting? <clears throat> he did. But how come you're so bad? <laughs> What do you think it Don't, is? Because uh, the, the, Andrew, the history and the economics thing I get. Andrew. I if get, I have $10 and someone takes two, how many do I have left? Eight. Okay, great, e- great econ and great history. We learned both of these things out of you. But the oh, acting dude. thing is so bad. No, dude, you, you are so, Stop so bad. at that. I don't think I've ever <laughs> seen one thing that you've I done. Thought you, I, thought a scenario scenario a, and I thought it was going to be a heartfelt okay. story. Give me a fucking goes. line. Give you know me a what? fucking I, line I and give me a scenario and I'll blow your mind. I made him an offer he can't refuse. All right. Go ahead. I made him an offer I can't refuse. <laughs> B minus. Fuck you, B man. B minus, dude. Do you want to see how to really do it? Yeah. Please. Okay. How'd you get him? Now I have to, I'll give you the line to feed in. How, oh. How'd you get him to agree? Now, hold on. Let's start again. Look. Right. <laughs> see, this is what I'm talking about. Amateur. <laughs> An actor prepares, dude. You, you give us action. Go ahead. Action. How'd you get him to agree? I made him an offer he couldn't refuse. End scene. Dude, that's... I'm going to take off. Where are you going? <laughs> Andrew, hold on. Oh, I, I, I have to stay. I have to stay. I have okay. to stay. Okay, here's the next but line. But did you see the difference? Did you see the difference? Yeah. I emoted more. Yeah. I turned. I did. I, there was body movements in there. You were saying when you were in acting class, though, if it, if it didn't work out, you were just going to be like, fuck it, go back to Papa? I, I had a... No, I mean no. I, my ego was too big. The, the, what saved me was the fact that I just like being good at things, and I didn't want to be the dork. I wanted to be the cool kid. Were I mean, you always I was, the cool? I'm type cool A kid? personality. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be not. I'm not gonna not be successful at something if I'm gonna go for it. Okay. That's why my, my boxing, my dancing, my fucking, my acting, everything's so sure, good. Sure, whatever. But here's the thing: you're good at two of those things. <laughs> Don't dancing. <clears throat> yeah, I can dance. <laughs> boxing. Don't say boxing. boxing. No, not PCI. boxing or PCI. acting. I'll light you up like a what was the other one? Oh, fucking. Fuck. You can dance and fuck. Yeah. From what I hear. No, I know it. All right. I pounded this guy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. Dude, for your yeah. fans, by the way, I'll take back all the money jokes that I made because that's, that's disgusting. That's not who I am. Okay? Yeah, I want them to know that. That's not who I am. This is a joke. But what's not a joke is I fucked Brian Callen. <laughs> <laughs>
I have had sex with Brian Callen. I want the world to know. Oh, man, yep. dude. Top, top, no, top. No, no, no. Bottom, bottom, bottom. No, no. Top and the bottom and the top no, and the bottom. No. And the guy who films it. No, Don't God stay out of damn this. it. Yes, you do. Yeah, there goes, there goes our whole fucking secret. Hey, so man. what? Uh, so what? They got to know. We're doing, uh, we did a pilot for I FX. love that guy. Yeah, we did a pilot. Andrew with the mustache. Go over there. He's right a brilliant there. dude. Right there. Yeah. Right there. That, that. That, that's a poster for gay men. Who, dude, that was like that same guy who was showing his bush we saw earlier. If you're in a gay farmers, if you're in so many roles in 2010. If you're in a redheaded gay farmers, that guy with the mustache. Pick an apple and fuck you right. Right? Right? Man, if you like to pick apples and get banged by a red If you want a carrot and you want me to dump in your mouth, hey, um... <laughs> Keep going down. Look at those, those pink But nips. with little Hold Dicky, on. good dude, That's huh? me. Look at me as a kid on the oh. lake in Lake Michigan. Yeah, there he is. Get out of my face. Look at that cute <laughs> patoot. Uh, look at this kid. I got my... Look at I got my Lacoste yeah. shirt on. You look 40. You look like a 40-year-old. <laughs> your hair's super fucked up. <laughs> I mean, he looks like Maybe a there's another one, because I'm not sold <laughs> on this kid yet. Yeah. You didn't age. I'm not ready for that. You Scroll down. Scroll down. There's got to be... There's more. For sure. There he is. Keep going. Is well, that that's your... me naked. Show Brian the one of me naked. Let me see. Let me take in the cock. Bam. By the way, I'm not mad at the body. Well done, sir. What you are you got doing, some good there, I had to jerk off on Showtime. Uh, we did a nude scene where I jerk. I'm jerking off, and I get a phone call that my dad is dead. All right, oh, let's scroll down. Keep going. Let's scroll down. <laughs> look at that's that's me. Scene. Look at that basketball camp. Duke and UNC. There you go. Getting cuter on the left. Then when you got braces, you got struggle you gotta get braces. That's a weird time. <laughs> struggle <laughs> City. Brendan, I, know I call it Struggle City. Go to the next We all went through it. I was missing. Struggle team. City. Keep going down. Struggle City is good. Hold on. Keep going. What are you doing that in Rari? Okay. Sounds like a fucking good t-shirt. I rented a Ferrari for the Showtime promo we did. I rented the ninety. I rented that 95. I wanted the one that Jordan was in. Love it. Keep going down. Keep. Oh, that's me. Wait. Hold on. That's me, 45. Go up. In the red. Look at the red shirt. I said, I'm Jerry Mick Seinfeld. Look at me. <laughs> Big jeans, bro. Well, big, big jeans, jeans bro. There. What's the deal with big jeans? <laughs> no, I'm, those are like they, I can those hear are my dad. I can hear my dad go, "Tuck it in, <laughs> tuck it in." But I don't like tuck it There's in. One kid's you fuck off, face. fork face. <laughs> Kids, you just make up mean things to say. Beat it, butter knife. <laughs> I couldn't. I heard so many fucking annoying fire crotch, That's Opie standard. Uh, fire crotch, Opie, um, uh, uh, a pepperoni head because I also had pimples. It was worse. It was like a pimpled redheaded kid. I mean, that's why I said, I was like, uh, you know, what about big red? Big red's kind of endearing. I call myself red, big red, the chewing gum though. You know, do anyone call you hot sauce? Hot sauce is cool too. I don't mind any of that stuff. See, I'd nickname you hot sauce. Hot sauce. Place. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. The There's hot Ferrari. sauce coming in y'all. Here come hot sauce. No, it was always older kids that thought it was funny to make fun of me in front of um, chicks no it was always it was actually in front of dudes that's weird because chicks still have sympathy their whole lives men don't get sympathy but like girls even when they're young they see someone being mean to they someone, don't they, like it they're like oh that's mean it's not a way to win over a girl no chicks don't like dudes are assholes to make other dudes laugh correct uh, the it's, dude a, that's, it's a bonding the, the thing, The dude right? that said, yeah, exactly. It's like the way comics say, we, but like, if I walk in with fucking leopard pants on, I'm going to get roasted. You're going to get lit in. the fuck up. But it's the way we bond. But that's because we're friends. But when people are being like racist, like when someone said that to Chin, when somebody said pan face, mm -hmm. he's trying to make somebody else laugh by being mean to him. Correct. And that, but a girl, that would be never because of a girl. No, never. Never, never. A girl, so would, a girl would never go... Oh, that guy that picks on everybody is so cute. Dude, did you hear Jeremy called the Asian pan face? Oh, I'm going to suck him I off. love that guy. That never happens. No. Ever believe. But there was, it was Fire Crotch or, or, um, or, or, uh, Opie. Opie. It was actually Opie. You know, Opie, Opie Taylor. Yeah. yeah Ron Howard. It, that was actually, um, he was killing it. That was at I me mean, at elementary school. That was always, uh, the older black kids would say that to me. But it was it was a term of endearment, so like it didn't hurt my feelings, but it did annoy me. Yeah, it'd be annoying because it's I didn't not like, like he's it. a badass. So you're like, nah, ah, but they would fuck. always go, "Hey, come, hey, what's up, Opie? Here come Opie!" Like older black dudes would always do that. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Oh, what's up, Opie? Yeah, but they're f mocking me. <laughs> yeah, but also you're Opie. But it's cool that the black guys notice Correct. me. Yeah, like, That's like really yo, what it was Opie, about. it's an endearment. Here come the fighter in the Red Rockets. <laughs> Fuck Callen. It's over, Bri. You old ass piece of shit. Oh, man. It's so good to be here, dude. Thank you for letting me put up my art. Um, oh, dude, I like it. How long did that take you to make? Six seconds. That's how good it I am. It looks good, though, bro. <laughs> Scribbled it out. It looks good. You, yeah. you, uh, you're you, a 2018 Rookie of the Year, and I'm glad you're here. Thank you, baby. Because we got this little... Uh -oh. oh, shit. Lovely, lovely, lovely. What's up, bro? <laughs> oh, man. Look at how tight this is. Look how, look how dope that is, Oh, bro. my God. You earned it, man. Wow. You earned it. I feel like I, so I want to make a little speech. Yeah, um, please do. Dude, this is, uh, this, is for, uh, this is for all the haters out there. This is for everyone that said I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> fucking, you're wrong. I proved you wrong again yep. and again and again, and I'm going to keep on proving you wrong. 
And I'm taking over this podcast. Uh, that's an announcement I wanted to make to you guys. Good. Um, it's no longer the fighter and the kid. Oh, okay. Uh, the kid is dead. Mm. Uh, the kid is gone. It is fighter and the red rocket forever. I'm so glad you broke the thank news. you so much, thank you. dude. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. You earned it, man. Chin handmade this, huh? Handmade. <laughs> that's why it took so long. God, this is so nice. Cat told me that ta- that after hours that. Uh, um, these guys may make you make Samsung phones. Is that what you have? To have? <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that really it's iPhones yeah. and Samsung? How many do you have to make a day? <laughs> Thirty-five. Just to 35? Pay, the, to pay the bills, bro. <laughs> ever, ever, what? Ever. What? what and he's uh, numero uno. Are you? Me. Are you? What are you? Italian and Irish? Half, half. Italian me and too. Irish. Siciliano. Me too. But you, see, the difference is, yeah. I look, I look Irish. Yeah. And I've got the body and the cock of an Italian. Okay, I don't know. And you look like a, like a little tiny Swedish boy. You no, look like I a little don't. Swedish boy. In yeah, this you outfit, do. maybe. A little tiny Swedish boy. They're not tiny. I'm a Brian Kalen. Yeah, you know, they're tiny that's little a fucking Irish I'm a Brian Kalen. That's an Irish guy. That's no, a, and I... And I it's no. a terrible Swedish guy. This accent. is an Irish guy. This is clearly Irish man. Well, dude. Yes, that's Irish. That's Jamaican, No, no this is an Irish guy. <laughs> that's, a, that's so Jamaican, dude. This is Irish... Okay. That's, Welcome that's, to Ireland. No, that's... No. Welcome to the island of Ireland, man. No, Irie a- land. Come over, get some fish and chips and fruit and salad. No, see, that's... Falafel. This is Ireland. No, no that sounds Falafel, so... Fish and chips, that's... fruit, salad, couscous on the island of Ireland. No, that sounds so Jamaican. I'm it's honestly... not even close to Jamaican. <laughs> I... I love the, Here we go. There's a Jamaican accent. You want a Jamaican? Hey, I'm Jamaican. I'm a big black Jamaican guy. Everyone knows I'm Jamaican. That's Jamaican. That's super Australian. Dude. You are so bad with dialects. You don't know. I don't. I, I, already, I, I studied in college, dude. I did dialectical research. That was one of my focuses. What was your What was your major in college? Journalism and English. Journal, Engl- journalism major, English focus, and I had a dialectic uh, 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 subset. I did two and a half years of learning dialects around the world. Okay, but... Name a place and I can do it. Maori. Maori. You want Maori? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Welcome to this uh, neighborhood. I I put a number of meal for you on the ship. That's and spot that's, and, on. And you didn't understand the language because I was also that doing was some... Spot on. Best, that's Give him another one, B. Give him another one. Give him another one. Okay, okay. Russian. Uh, yeah, let's easy. see Russian. Russian. Yeah. Ru- Russian's probably, probably one of my favorites, to be honest with you. Yeah. Russian's easy. <clears throat> Russian goes, uh, oh, you, I don't, um, you want to eat, you want to eat uh, with a fish with us, or you, do, do you want to go on your separate ways because dinner is made? Okay, now I have to say, uh, I'm sorry, that's, that, that, now look, I, I don't take this the wrong way, but that does sound a little bit f- French. <laughs> well, uh, you, you're going. You're do you want me to kick out of here? Please. Do you no, want me to no, get no, out of no. here? Give, no. give, give him some more, B. Okay, give okay, take more. it easy. Take it easy. All right, can can I hear? Please. And don't make it. Okay. Don't make it. Can I hear Japanese? Easy. Japanese is probably one of my favorite ones to do. All right. Okay. I have to get prepped for it. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Get your mind right. <clears throat> Ooh, hi, puppy. You know, you know not how to do this with me. I want to dance on your lap and maybe shake on my pussy, pussy, pussy. Okay, okay, bro. I have to stop you. I have to stop you. Because it's so good? Did you just get transformed like you were it back in sounds, Tokyo, Japan? sounds so fucking Spanish. Dude, dude that sounds... Sorry. Dude, that's very... Honestly, sp- the you guys are so wrong. I, maybe I am. I'm I, telling you you're wrong. I went to a fucking school for dialectical research. Okay, maybe, maybe we're off. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we're off. Did I'm you go to college? You, I did go to did college. Did you go to college? Sure yeah. did. What college? Went to American University. In D.C.? In D.C., yeah. That's a really good school. I know it is. What did you do? What was your major? History. Economics. Initially, history? And then it was history. Yeah. Economics and history. Well, it was economics and I switched over to history. When was the War of 1812? That's a good question. <laughs> In the 1800s sometimes. Well, how do you know this place? I go, I went here once. Yeah. If I pass that once, It's boom. registered. Childhood? <laughs> I don't know. I feel Me like that's too. most people. A lot Me of too. I only remember certain things about childhood. No, but. I got a bunch of people in my life that remember when they were five. I know. But what are they doing now? <laughs> it's a good question. Bill. One of them is my driver. That's actually pretty smart. Yeah. It's a good He's question. your driver. He's outside right now, and I make him wait. Make him sit and wait. I say, you think about your childhood while I'm inside. <laughs> Jeez, that's so mean, Andrew. <laughs> I don't, you should see what I do. I didn't know you had a driver. You have a lot of money. Driver, plural. I have drivers. Oh I, don't have, I don't have one driver. Are you mean to all of them like that? No, nah, there's poor. one girl that I like. Jesus. But the two guys piss me off every day. But they didn't do anything. Like, they didn't do anything? I don't know. Do you know what they're up to? What? 
this coffee order was wrong. My driver, coffee wrong. Threw it in his face. I said, like, go get me another <laughs> Did one. Did burn his face? It's it iced coffee. Ice, not yeah. I don't ice. throw co- okay. I, hot coffee. I'm not okay, an okay, asshole. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, I threw the iced coffee an and, it, and it knocked out one of his contacts. The ice cube knocked out of his contact. Yeah. Oh, he's crying. I'm in the parking lot of Starbucks, you know? Yeah. Oh, go get it. Go get it. Go get it. I pass. Save the shit. Well, not my mom. Not you. I'm going to be my at mom? your mom's house. Oh, cool, man. Well, she lives in Aurora, so. I'm already been. I'm already there right now. <laughs> oh, wow. Mentally, I'm there. Okay. Well, Physically, I'm here. I've been walking around in this body, but I left my mind with your mom a long time ago. I got to tell you. <laughs> Damn, bro. She is a genius. She's, she's a smart. Tomcat. She's sweet. She's sexy. Okay. She can cook. Oh, uh, well. I got to tell you, she can cook. Maybe right, she didn't ever okay. cook for you. <laughs> she cook up something <laughs> for me. <laughs> Dude. It's going to be dope. Oh, yeah, get and I want to say this. All the offensive fucked up shit that we say on here, um, Schultz and I, because I, I know Andrew well, I love him. <laughs> yeah. We mean none of it. And Shab means literally all of it. Yeah. I mean that. I, I'm yeah. serious. When we make That's jokes true. and we talk about offensive, weird, fucked up shit, yeah. we're probably kidding around. When Shab says it, it's, it's, real. it's real as yeah. fuck. I mean, yeah. dude, From he heart. means it. He yeah. means it. He's a, he is a pedo, uh, a racist, <laughs> hey, yeah. can, can you sign us out as the Texas cowboy? Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you yeah. something. Let me tell you something about Chinny Chin Chin. He took a whole bunch of them. <laughs> and I appreciate y'all listening to The Fighter and the Kid. Featuring the Red Rocket, Andrew Break the Motherfucking Industry Schultz, <laughs> and good old bigoty Brendan Schaub. <laughs> bigoty, bigoty? The bigot Brendan Schaub. The big brown bigot Brendan Schaub. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you, are you, uh, any dates or no? You're saying. Uh, yeah, no, year? this weekend. Hey, I've got two. I'm doing. Uh, uh, two shows at the Ice House in Pasadena on Saturday. The first one's already done, already sold out, and the second one is almost sold out. But come see me this Saturday at the Ice House. I'm done until 2020. I do the Red Rocket Tour, doing small theaters. Yeah, well, where, go. where can you get the tickets for the Red Rocket Tour? AndrewSantino.com. Go to AndrewSantino.com, baby. I'm pulling up on one of the dates. I'm gonna check out the dates. I'm gonna. You want to come through? Seriously? Will you I would love through? to. Yeah. Honestly, I would fucking love that because I I had so much fun when we did our show the other so day. So fun, with Tony and. We should we, we did we did like a QA and a after we were just fucking around Dude, and it was so, so fun. fun man. Will you seriously come and I do would, a date? I'm going to pull up. I all promise right, you. Come do a date. Absolutely, especially if you're anywhere. This is all Shab's dates. <laughs> oh. this, he puts it up for Shab to read cuz he has CT. He doesn't remember where he is. He doesn't <laughs> know where he is right I now. I have so many. I have no idea <laughs> where, where I'm at. I'm going to be performing right at UFC 48 <laughs> <laughs> in Tulsa. <laughs> hey, where are we at right now? What town?